Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to yet another episode of Mr. Reardon Reads Poetry. It's uh, April Fool's Day. I don't know what sort of pranks you guys have in mind. I think humor is really important right now. Um, we're not doing anything big, but the kids did come downstairs this morning to find googly eyes on the toaster and the milk and a few other things. Um, so they got a kick out of that and I thought it was a pretty cute way to start the day. Um, it was a great idea from my wife and she also gave me the idea for today's poem. Uh, actually, it's going to be poems, too, in this case, uh, from the American humorist Ogden Nash. Ogden Nash um, was known for his witty poems and uh, he was really um, widely regarded in the 20th century as one of our best humorists. So um, hopefully you'll get a kick out of these. I'm going to start with sort of a short bonus poem and then go into the, uh, to the main one for today. So our little bonus poem is called The Panther. The panther is like a leopard, except it hasn't been peppered. Should you behold a panther crouch, prepare to say, ouch. Better yet, if called by a panther, don't answer. And then, also by Ogden Nash, we have The Adventures of Isabel. Isabel met an enormous bear. Isabel, Isabel didn't care. The bear was hungry. The bear was ravenous. The bear's mouth was cruel and cavernous. The bear said, Isabel, glad to meet you. How do, Isabel? Now I'll eat you. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She washed her hands and straightened her hair up. Then Isabel quietly ate the bear up. Once in a night as black as pitch, Isabel met a wicked old witch. The witch's face was cross and wrinkled. The witch's, gum, witch's gums with teeth were sprinkled. Oh, Isabel, the old witch crowed. I'll turn you into an ugly old toad. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She showed no rage and she showed no rancor. But she turned the witch into milk and drank her. Isabel met, met a hideous giant. Isabel continued self-reliant. The giant was hairy. The giant was horrid. He had one eye in the middle of his forehead. Good morning, Isabel, the giant said. I'll grind your bones to make my bread. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She nibbled the zweeback that she always fed off. And when it was gone, she cut the giant's head off. Isabel met a troublesome doctor. He punched and he poked till he really shocked her. The doctor's talk was of coughs and chills. The doctor's satchel bulged with pills. The doctor said unto Isabel, Swallow this, it will make you well. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She took those pills from the pill concoctor, and Isabel calmly cured the doctor. All right, thanks, guys. Hope you have an enjoyable April Fool's Day. And uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.